During a tight pressure to determine purity, a tablet of acetyl salicylic acid, C9HHO4, popularly called aspirin, reacts with sodium hydroxide. If 11 centimeter cubed of 0.050 mole per decimeter cubed NaOH is used to achieve complete neutralization, calculate the mass in milligram of aspirin in the tablet. Jeffrey. 99 milligrams. Yes. <laughs> for the round. Hubble Space Telescope has an effective focal length of 57.8 meters. If an eyepiece were to be used with such a telescope, what must its focal length be to produce an angular magnification of 5.00 times 10 raised to the power 3? Yes. Eight. And six. One point one six by ten raised to the power negative two meters. Yes. And that's the end. Okay, find the gravitational potential energy of a particle of mass two point zero times ten raised to the power four kilogram and a particle of mass 3.0 times 10 raised to the power 4 kilogram, separated by 5.0 meters. Yes, Jeffrey. Negative 8.0 by 10 to the power negative three juice. Okay. <laughs> Sodium tetraborate decahydrate, commonly known as borax, is used in various household products, such as detergents, toothpaste, and cosmetics. How many milligrams of sodium are in 76.2 milligram of borax, given its molecular formula as Na2B4O7 dot 10H2O. Precious. 9.20 milligrams. Yes. Yeah. Next one. What volume of oxygen is required for the complete combustion of 1.00 mole of butanone at STP? The molar? Yes. It is given us 123 decimeter cube. Yes. Tag x minus 1 multiplying 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0 for x in the interval x greater than 0 less than pi. Remember, colleague? x is equal to pi on 4 radian or x is equal to pi on 3 radian. Yes. 30 seconds. If f of x equals x cubed minus a x squared plus b x plus a, is divisible by x minus two and x plus two, find a and b. Boys. A equals 2 and B equals 
negative four. Yes. Next, 30 seconds. A particle moving at five meters per second collides with a stationary particle and slowly moves to two meters per second. Whereas the other particle takes off at three meters per second ahead of the incoming particle. Calculate the coefficient of restitution for the collision between the particles. Yes, friends and college. 0 0.2. That's correct. It's 30 seconds. Given that 0 0.084 moles of a compound A2B3 weighs one weighs 12.6 grams. Determine the atomic mass of element A. If the atomic mass of element B is 18 grams per mole. Presbyterian boys. 48 grams per mole. Yes, that's correct. 30 seconds. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide form at STP when 2.00 moles of 2 propanol is burned in excess oxygen. Yes, that would 6.0 moles. Incorrect. Friends per college. 134 decimeter cube. Yes. <laughs> Next. 30 seconds. Find the inverse of the linear transformation T of xy given as 2x plus 3y, comma, x plus 2. T yes. inverse of x, comma, y maps onto 2x minus 3y, comma, negative x plus 2y. Yes. Next 10 seconds. If a neuron is unable to intercept a signal from another neuron, which part of the neuron receiving the message is most likely damaged? Remember, college? The dendrites. Yes. <laughs> 10 seconds. What, what resource would plants in a rainforest most likely compete for? Presbyterian boys. Sunlight. Sunlight. Question one. 30 seconds. Calculate the mass of 4.82 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of bromine. Friend per college. 128 grams. That's correct. <laughs> what is the total number of atoms? in one formula unit of the simplest compound that can be formed between two elements with six and three electrons in their valence shell. Presbyterian boys. Five. Five. Next, 30 seconds. Solve the exponential equation three raised to the power two x. This minus 6 multiplying 3x, then plus 8 equals 0. Yes. Pemper College. x is equal to log to the base 3 of 4, or x is equal to log to the base 3 of 2. Yes. 